Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. This is a famous quote from Nelson Mandela. And yeah, that quote is indeed true. I have seen the big journey of sweat from Bangkit alumni that they were spending their time from day till night to keep struggling for learning in Bangkit Academy. Changing the word impossible to impossible, from zero to hero, from darkness to lightness, and from hardship to ease. Hello guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Introduce myself. My name is Asita Hia Hirasafitri. I am a student of Information Technology Education in Brawijaya University. I am one of the Mobile Development Cohorts in Bangkit Academy 2022. Hmm, maybe some of you haven't heard yet what is Bangkit Academy program. Don't worry, here I'll explain you what Bangkit program is, the activities, and some of my experience in Bangkit. Bangkit Academy 2022 is a career readiness program that is led by Google and delivered support from industry experts namely GoTo, or we call it Gojek and Tokopedia, Traveloka, and Deep Tech Foundation. If you ever access in Campus Merdeka website, probably you know that Bangkit Academy is one of the programs offered there and supported by Dijan Dikti, with its 20 course credits over. Bangkit 2022 accepted 30,000 students from all over Indonesia. In 2022, Bangkit Academy program offers three learning paths and the students can choose one of them. There are mobile development, machine learning, and cloud computing. For six months, all of the Bangkit cohorts learn from the tech experts because Bangkit Academy program provides technical skills and prints high-caliber Indonesian digital talent with technology training. Not only hard skill in IT, but Bangkit Academy program also provides soft skill and English classes that, of course, it will support the working environment skills that are really needed in today's life. With all of those preparations, Bangkit cohorts can get a free chance to take Google certification, which is very useful for applying for jobs and worthful for our learning outcomes. Well, for now, I will share you the detailed activities that I have achieved in learning the hard skill, soft skill, and English classes offered by Bangkit. In Bangkit, there is a program called Instructor-Led Training or ILT for each learning path and for the soft skill class. Because I'm a mobile development cohort or we can call it MD cohort, I have an ILT MD for the mobile development class and ILT SS for the soft skill class. In ILT MD, students can learn the mobile development with a tech expert instructor synchronously after they have paced a self-learning for several lessons in decoding platform. In mobile development, I learned several courses such as Kotlin programming, solid programming principle, fundamental of Android application, UX design, intermediate Android application, pursuing a career as a software developer, and a simulation for associate Android developer. So, it's basically like we learn first from the mobile development courses, then it will be discussed during the ILT session as you can see in this video. All of this time that you guys have been doing uh, for the past uh, few months in Android development, you, ha you guys haven't... Uh, when we call a coroutine uh, inside a function, we need to make it suspend. And for those who have questions, they can ask it directly to the bucket instructor. So if a JSON array can be inside of JSON object, so... Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, I'll see for the question. Uh, that's actually really interesting. Uh, so you have a nested... In ILTSS, students can learn some valuable lessons such as time management, professional branding and interview, critical thinking, adaptability, ID generation and MVP planning, startup valuation and investment pitch, and professional communication. Here is one of the my soft skill classes called professional communication. 
how communicate, how you can uh, try to practice uh, to discuss from this small uh, class. Because from this small class, we have uh, all the record, right? So I hope you can. I'll see. Maybe for point A, you can share your uh, your opinion about this. Why? Okay, so I will share my opinion about the reason why the effective communication is very important. So for me, in my opinion, effective communication can lead uh, can lead us to a better communication in comprehensive or understanding to each other because it is the key of communication to deliver a message so that the, our message can be understood by a lot of people by by the speaker that we we are we are we, we speak to. And then um, besides for a better understanding, the effective communication will lead us to. Uh, to a better composition of time because it will not lead us to like mumbling or something like extending a very long conversation but uh but it will lead us to just straight to the point and uh and it will make a better progress okay thank you Takia, for your uh, completely and quite long it's okay we, we appreciate it very much because you have already while in english class students learn three things such as spoken correspondence expressing opinions and business presentation here is one of my English classes called Expressing Opinions. So a lot of my colleagues would ask me, Ma'am, why why do you what do you think about online classes? Okay, Miss Alsi. Uh, thank you for your time. So I <laughs> think uh, the other question. Uh, I'm trying to use FSA framework maybe because this is new to me and I am going to apply it. So okay. for the facts, uh, online class, yeah, as we know that uh, this is the online situation and, and schools and universities are going to online. So so we must face a new condition that that we, that we should adapt it. And for me, this is the facts, yeah, because uh, we cannot we cannot uh, just just make sure like face face to face. And um, because of that, so I'm gonna tell you the story. Uh, like uh, for me, online classes is is good, yeah, it's good, but it's also depend on the environment of the learning because uh, when the environment of the learning encourage students to to uh, to 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 deliver their to deliver the ideas or to, to ask or to pay attention to the teachers. So mm -hmm. I think that's really great. Yeah. Uh, but also, uh, I also share a story. Yeah. Maybe some of us think that uh, online classes are boring because I think uh, the learning method is boring because mm -hmm. maybe the teacher doesn't apply uh, something that can make the students bigger. Uh, Every week, there is a routine meeting called weekly consultation. Here, we meet our facilitator in each learning path class as well as our classmates. In this agenda, all students from the same class can share their daily lives, progress, obstacles, and difficulties, as well as their happiness and achievements, and even just to say hi, and how are you to each other, and play games together. In this place, the facilitator is a good listener, a good advisor, and a kind person that might help us in with difficulties. Isn't it interesting? Here is one of my videos with my facilitator named Miss Angel and my MD4 classmates. Ah, gak tau lah, siapa lah? Aku gak tau lah Aku gak tau Gak tau mas Iya Ya bener dong Tapi kalau bener lah By the way, have you ever heard of a capstone project? In Bangkit, a capstone project refers to a final project that is done by a team that must be solved by mobile development, machine learning, and cloud computing technologies. In 2022, there are two kinds of capstone projects, namely product-based capstone projects and company-based capstone projects. In product-based, the team consists of six members and is responsible to develop an application with their ideas based on the theme offered in Bangkit. While for the company based, the team consists of up to 10 members and is responsible to solve a company's problem. So, they don't need to create an ID to make an application, but they follow the company's offer to solve a problem. For my team, we do the product based capstone project. We develop an application called PARANO, which stands for Paparan Tanaman Obat. 
On the homepage, you can see her plan articles and results from the identify. This application can identify a health plan with a camera named Parancam and give information about the health plan. There is also a feature called Paranshop to sell and buy the health plans. Paranity to connect with a community of the health plans, setting and account information. And the interesting is if the Copstone project is categorized as the best 15 projects, the team will achieve incubation to make their project a little growing startup. For this year, this team who gets the incubation will receive 140 million and guided by two industry experts. Wow, that's very interesting, isn't it? Well, maybe some of you might be wondering, how can it be that a lot of bucket alumni and bucket cohorts this year can raise themselves wake up from their comfort zone and can chase their dreams like what I have taught you in the beginning. Even some of them come from a non-IT background. Some of them come from a bitter experience in the past and some of them even have difficulties in learning. Their spirit to learn is big. Maybe some of you also wonder, how can it they have a deep knowledge can build a real application project and even can be the next startup in just six months? Well, the reason is that Bangkit creates us as an early achiever. It doesn't mean that we don't have any obstacles, difficulties, and unexpected problems. But those who are patient in learning will deserve a great winning of joy. That's real and that's true. After half graduated from Bangkit, there are a lot of alumni who work in a company tech and even create a startup and be a real digital talent for Indonesia. Wow, that's amazing, right? Well, that's the joy of learning. How is it, guys? Are you interested in joining Bangkit Academy? I hope you can learn something here and feel free if you want to contact me through LinkedIn. That's all from me. Thank you for listening. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.